just about set for football. Blake Groupie is ready to get us started. And we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. Leading them out is their six foot three quarterback, the third overall selection in 2018, Sam Darnold. And the thing with Sam Darnold is we know the skill set is there. May not be the most mobile or strongest arm quarterback in the league, but usually plays with really good poise and at his best, like a point guard in basketball, able to move around and distribute the rock. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Play action, it's Darnold. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 25 yards that time. And we see the emphasis early here, get your star receiver involved able to do it successfully not a bad start to begin with that's for sure and to me this play says our guy is better than your guys because you know a player of his stature he won't just be single covered all game long it's going to involve multiple people and right away they told the other team guess what he's just better So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. To throw is Darnold. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Now Darnold. Got a man, it's caught inside the ten. And it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. What a play that turns out to be, 36 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Here's Darnold. That's complete right around the 8. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Madison is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Sam Darnold 
A three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Vikings put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, this is where it pays to have a quarterback you can trust with the ball in his hands. Normally, you want him throwing or at least trying to make this an option. But here, this is a straight run, a QB draw, and he reads things perfectly and takes it into the end zone. Greg Joseph on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Vikings take a 7-0 lead. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State. Derek Carr. It's been fun to watch his development through the years, and right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self, totally understands the offense, and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 26. They begin on the ground with Kamara and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Give him 10 yards there and about by the nose of the football he's going to have a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They run it again with Kamara. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. You don't see that a ton, do you, with a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle? That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Carr completes it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It was Daniil Hunter to make the play in the backfield. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Carr going to throw. There's Chris Olave. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 
He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 41. Car now to throw. That's a lave bringing in another one. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Now second and three. Here's Carr. Downfield, and he's got Olave. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, Brandon, obviously no panic in them. They gave up the touchdown. You know, their defensive side did that. But he's already taken them back downfield. I love this field general that they've got. It's almost like he went to the defensive captain and said, don't worry about it. We've got you. Now yep. they got first and goal. Yeah, we're seeing punch, counter punch, and this could be setting the table for quite the game. I like that. Let's, let's go ahead and put it in the boxing ring, right? You're going to get hit sometimes. Can you respond and hit back? And they're trying to do exactly that. Trying to pound it in, Kamara. He gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the power run out of the bag and got a couple extra yards with it. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. Next to receivers, they'll spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So roughing the passer there on second and goal, they'll get half the distance and a fresh set of downs to try to punch one in. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And the Vikings pick up the football. Past the 10 to the 11-yard line. And that's where the return stops. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? I like to credit the defense I, and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. But just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now it's Darnold. Finds his man, there's Jordan Addison. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. 
Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll go Madison up the middle and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Taken down by Pete Werner. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here now a third down and eight. Darnold now to throw. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. Right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it, and if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. On first down, Carr. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's a second and nine. Now Carr. He completes it to Alave. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. from midfield. Here's Carr. Finding Johnson on the out route. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 12 more yards there and another first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in and picks up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Again, they'll throw with Carr. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. That's good for 28 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. Only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. 
Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. Here's second and goal, operating from the eight-yard line. Shotgun now for Carr. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's Johnson. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. Yeah, Williams is going to be stopped short of the yellow line. He did not get there. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. Here we go with Williams. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Jamal Williams punching it in from a yard away. And the Saints' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, this defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running game wears them down from the one-yard line. And that gets set up throughout the entire drive, doesn't it? And when you put those big bodies and determination into that carry, the end result, touchdown. Blake Groupie now for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive goes eight plays, and it was Jamal Williams who ended things with a touchdown run. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with a slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. On first down, it's Darnold. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Two yards to go, second down. Darnold. Pass complete to Akers on the out route. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. In this case, he picks up the first down. Darnold's throw pulled in by Jefferson. 
The Vikings going to signal for their first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Darnold to throw again. Throwing the out route and complete. That's Osborne. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. How about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. down throw Darnold to Jefferson on the slant and all the way down inside the five to the four now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Darnold. Touchdown! Cam Akers from four yards out. And the Vikings will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Joseph now to have the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it all culminates in a touchdown for Minnesota. Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shahid. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. First down is Carr. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. The Vikings going to take over now late in this first half. And now they start in plus territory following that turnover as they'll try to get some points here before halftime.
From the 34 now, here's first and 10. After the interception, here's Darnold. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field that took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. Second and 10. The shotgun snap for Darnold. And he's got this to Jefferson. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. It's a gain of 20 as we wind down near 20 seconds left in the quarter. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Back to throw, Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now a second and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, a 31-yard attempt. The kick by Joseph is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17 to seven. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we've reached halftime here in Minnesota with the Vikings on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the veteran Sam Darnold who had the offense moving. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. Ten-point game, 17-7 to score as we get back to it on EA Sports. This taken in at the goal line. 
and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. I like the thought process. I like the design, but I think he may have waited a little too long to spot his man because if you're going to run that drag route, you've got to put it on him and let him turn up field. Instead, he waits until his receiver's too close to the sideline and they don't get the yards after the catch. Now Carr. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. A uh, quick throw there is incomplete. Well, if they have any designs of getting back into this football game in the second half, they're going to need to be much sharper offensively than they were on this opening possession. Not much happening here, and it'll lead to a fourth down. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And he goes out right around the 39. 39 yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be Vikings ball, first and 10. There's a glimpse of Justin Jefferson, the wide receiver, as he and the Minnesota Vikings return back here on offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. They'll start on the ground with Madison. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll try to get it on the ground with Madison. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Try the air now with Darnold. Addison hauls it in. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode Really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. On first down, Darnold. 
complete. Jefferson the target. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now off the bootleg, Darnold. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. This is second and eight. Throwing again is Darnold. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Eighth play of the drive, fourth coming, and they need eight yards on third down. They'll look to throw again. This goes out wide for Madison. Touchdown, Vikings! Alexander Madison, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Vikings are able to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Joseph connects on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Called it the 26. Now the Saints coming back out ready to go for this next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 26. He'll start with a give to Kamara. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. 
ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down and six now. Again, it's Kamara. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing now is Carr. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 33, here's second and six. Now Carr. He gets it to Thomas. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 20-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out and to that end a nice pass play there to push things downfield yeah and we know in this league a loss is a loss and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or boy something to... and he is into the end zone touchdown new orleans alvin Kamara taking it in from the 20 and the saints have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth so a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Here's Groupie for the PAT. It's up and good, so they claw back into it. 24-14 now. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And now out comes Minnesota. 
Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. On first and ten, Darnold. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. So the completion good for seven there at its second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. To throw on second down is Darnold. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And Jefferson's going to have the Vikings first down as he'll get this up to the 39. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Darnold. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Again, Darnold. This one brought in by Jefferson. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. the handoff it's Madison and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage a yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher third down and nine as a linebacker you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback but when you find the gap shoot it and he found it all right took it straight into the backfield and made the tackle for a loss The Vikings on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and nine. Here's Darnold. He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 27-yard line. Well, things obviously not going their way. Trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that penalty going to go ahead and give the other side some extra yardage. We all know it's an intense game, and things can get heated out there. That's part of the battle. But bottom line, you got to keep your cool. That was not an example of doing that. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. To throw is Darnold. And a quick throw here. That's complete. They'll give him four yards there. And it's second down. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. 
No, that wasn't an explosive run. That wasn't one that took it all the way to the house. But boy, for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game, that's the kind of run they need, hopefully, to get themselves kick-started. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. K.J. Osborne high in the air to bring it in. And the Vikings are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Joseph on for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's polished off by a Viking score. Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And now last drive, so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action, now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, Three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> that Woody he would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> Car now on first down, and that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Well, that frustration, Charles, it's been building on the defensive side of the ball, and unfortunately there... It turns into a roughing the passer penalty. Yeah, and they should be frustrated because he's picked them apart the entire game, but it's got to come out in a different way. You can't hit him illegally. Stop him downfield the way you're supposed to. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Here's Carr to throw. Now throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. Some extra space following the display of power down just inside the 45. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And the Vikings are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. 
This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Good starting field position for